नमस्कार बहुत बहुत स्वागत है आप सभी का आप देख रहे हैं प्रधानमंत्री विद्या चैनल मैं हूं धर्मेंद्र सिंह इस खास सेशन में आज हम बात करने वाले हैं द फंडामेंटल यूनिट ऑफ लाइफ कक्षा नाइन के विद्यार्थियों के लिए ये सेशन बहुत ही महत्वपूर्ण सब्जेक्ट ऑफ कोर्स है साइंस इससे संबंधित अगर आपके कोई प्रश्न है तो आप हमें फोन कर सकते हैं टेलीफोन नंबर प्लीज टेकले कॉन यू टेलीविजन स्क्रीन इट्स डबल एट डबल जीरो फोर फोर जीरो फाइव फाइव नाइन अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस इफ यू लाइक टू सेंड योर सजेशन योर क्वेश्चन थ्रू मेल ऑफ कोर्स यू कैन डू दिस ऑन ऑफिशियल मेल आई डी फॉर क्लास नाइन स्टूडेंट दैट इज डी टी एस डॉट क्लास नाइन एट द रेट सी आई टी डॉट एन आई सी डॉट इन टू वॉच दिस प्रोग्राम लाइव यू मी ट्यून इन पी एम ई विद्या चैनल नंबर लाइन टू टॉक अबाउट मोर अबाउट दिस टॉपिक आई वुड लाइक टू इन्वाइट श्री सुशील कुमार जी जो कि पी जी टी बायोलॉजी हैं केंद्रीय विद्यालय अलीगंज लखनऊ से उनका वास्ता अक्सर ये चेहरा आप देखते हैं टेलीविजन पर और जब हम बायोलॉजी की बात करते हैं तो सुशील सर आपका ये जो खास अंदाज है बच्चों को पढ़ाने का ये अक्सर हमें याद आता है बहुत बहुत स्वागत है आपका एन सी आई टी के इस मंच पर बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद धर्मेंद्र जी एंड गुड आफ्टरनून टू माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द फंडामेंटल यूनिट ऑफ लाइफ सो अगर धर्मेंद्र जी आज्ञा दें तो मैं स्टार्ट करूं। बिल्कुल सर सारा समय आपका है यस सो बच्चों नया सेशन शुरू हो चुका है एंड यू आर डूइंग वेरी वेल इन योर एकेडमिक्स एंड टूडे वी विल डिस्कस वन ऑफ द बेसिक वन ऑफ द फंडामेंटल यूनिट ऑफ अवर लाइफ सो यू हैव लाइन अबाउट द वेरियस थिंग्स लाइक लिविंग थिंग्स एज वेल एज नॉन लिविंग थिंग्स इन योर प्रीवियस क्लास so i am requesting you please recall the living things and uh, please recall what are the processes that uh, are found in the living organism so i uh, please list down and uh, i am uh, very much agreed that you have written so some of the processes that the living things so that are the that is one of the process that is known as growth another one is the reproduction uh, another one is the digestion excretion or and respiration so so many processes we are shown by the living organism so uh, for uh, for performing the various processes different set of the organs help in the living organism so uh, you have also uh, Uh, read in the, about these or uh, these processes as well as for uh, the systems in the previous class today uh, we will discuss how these organs or how these tissues are developed so uh, the fundamental unit that form the tissue and uh, many tissue whether we form the organ so today we will discuss about the fundamental unit so the fundamental unit that uh, is behind the everything it is known as cell so cell may be compared to the brick of the building so you have seen such type of the brick in your life and uh, i am i am sure that you people have observed such type of the boundary or walls in uh, surrounding of your place so uh, you may be see that uh, like bricks are assembled in a definite manner so uh, we will be able to see a building similarly cells are assembled to make the body of the every organism so uh, just a building is made up of brick the body of the all living organism made up of the cell so building the built of the similar bricks so uh, it may have different design shape and size but when uh, these uh, bricks are put in a definite order then we will see that a uh, a beautiful building so similarly our body consists of many brick like cells uh, uh, these are known as cells so students i would like to uh, uh, tell you story of the discovery of the cell so first of all uh, there are the scientist robert hook in the year back so many year back it is the story of the 1665 so in the year of the 1665 robert hook observed slices of the cork under a simple magnifying device so i have such magnifying device you have also seen such type of magnifying device so these device usually use the magnifying lens 
and with the help of these magnifying device you can magnify or you can uh, enlarge the uh, image or we can say the apparent size of any object so similarly uh, robert hook in the 1665 observed slices of the cork and uh, under a simple magnifying device now the question is like what is cork cork is a part of the bark of a tree there so uh, he took thin slice of cork and observed them under the microscope so uh, now the microscope you people all are well aware about if not then i would like to tell you micro means is small or scopy means to see so the microscope is an instrument which is used to see a very minute things that we people are not able to see uh, with the naked eye so uh, similarly robert hook uh, had designed a microscope with the magnifying glass he noticed partition boxes of the compartment in the cork slice these uh, boxes aap jo udhe dikhai diye these boxes looks like uh, a honeycomb structure so he also noticed that one box was uh, um, separated from the other by a wall of partition so hook coined the term cell for each box so uh, actually what uh, robert hook observed was uh, as a box or cell in the box in the cork we are actually a uh, dead cell so uh, Uh, he had uh, he had uh, uh, write down all those things in a famous book that is known as micrographia and uh, uh, later on uh, we will be able to tab se leke abhi tak lagbhag 1665 ke aas paas ki ye finding hai hum log unhe yaad karte hain aur unhe bade hi siddat ke sath jante hain kyunki hamare aapke sabke jeevan ka jo moolbhoot jo kuch jo structure hai that is cell उन्होंने खोजी और वो भी कॉर्क प्लांट के अंदर अब इसके बाद देर वॉज द साइंटिस्ट नोन एज लिवन हॉक की इन सिक्सटीन सिक्सटी सिक्सटीन सेवेंटी फोर विद द हेल्प ऑफ द इम्प्रूव माइक्रोस्कोप सो ही हैज ऑब्जर्व द लिविंग सेल्स इन द पॉन्ड वाटर इन द वाटर ऑफ द रिवर फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम so uh, he had observed there so many living creatures so many living organisms are found in the pond water he was the first to document bacteria he saw with his self made microscope later on in the 1831 robert brown discovered that nucleus uh, we all know that nucleus is the controlling center of the cell so each cell has a controlling center control room that is known as nucleus and it was discovered by the robert brown there was a scientist known as purkinje uh, he had uh, coined the term protoplasm in 1839 for the fluid substance of the cell so uh, uh, these are the uh, some of the gadget you people will be able to see uh, when uh, we want to study about the cell or ultra structure of the cell so we take the help of the gadget kyu because cells are the too small to be seen by the naked eye so they are studied in a better way with the help of the microscope and uh, uh, cells of the living organism could be observed only after the discovery of the improved microscope so very little knowledge was present before the discovery of the microscope but as soon as the microscope has discovered so today we know a lot about structure and function because of the improved microscope having high magnification so aap jante honge magnification it is the property of the instrument property of the microscope to enlarge anything that is known as magnification so microscope are having high resolution in is to mean that are used for observing the fine detail of the very small object there are two common type of the microscope we people are using 
uh, in our research laboratory or school laboratory, usually we people use the light microscope. So this is the light microscope. You people will able to see this microscope and you have also seen in your laboratory. Dharmendi, you have seen it. जब आप पढ़े होंगे क्लास एम या क्लास ट्वेल्व में जी 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 बिल्कुल तो आपने ये माइक्रोस्कोप जरूर देखा होगा मैं आपको इसके बारे में डिटेल बताऊंगा अपने बच्चों के साथ सो लाइट माइक्रोस्कोप है द मैग्निफिकेशन रेंज फ्रॉम हंड्रेड टू फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड टाइम्स एंड देयर इज वन मोर माइक्रोस्कोप दैट इज बीइंग यूज इन द रिसर्च और वी वेन वी वॉन्ट टू सी द Uh, ultra fine structure or subcellular structure so then the electron microscope we are used so uh, as the light microscope is concerned so it is a microscope which has uh, one base there is one mirror and uh, uh, there is the uh, there is uh, uh, at the upper uh, top most uh, top most area there is the eyepiece uh, that is close to the eye when we see any slide and there is the objective so uh, these are the objective so uh, this is the two lens system instrument and there are the some knobs are present like this is known as coarse adjustment knob and uh, this is known as fine adjustment knob this is coarse adjustment knob this is fine adjustment knob and this is the arm of the microscope Uh, by the help of the arm of the microscope, I am holding this microscope. So this is the simple light microscope, and this is also known as compound microscope that is being used in our laboratory in the in the almost all school of the country. Uh, there is one more microscope that is known as binocular microscope with battery backup. So I have also one. Binocular microscope. So this is the improved microscope. This is the costlier microscope. So it range from the uh, 50,000 around. So I have both the microscope in my home, and uh, uh, this microscope is unique in the sense because uh, it has two eyepieces. You will be able to see that there are the two eyepieces, and uh, uh, there is a movable objective. So you uh, will see uh, this. These are the objective. and uh, there is the battery backup so this microscope usually have the battery backup so we can use this microscope uh, when we have a need in the room where there is no uh, there is no, uh, no availability of the light so with the help of the battery backup we can do our experiment so this is the uh, binocular microscope with the battery backup and uh, some of the laboratory some of the schools have this type of the microscope but uh, third one microscope is known as electron microscope so this microscope is uh, is used to study the subcellular structure means the structures which we people are not able to see with the help of the common light microscope or compound microscope so usually we take the help of the electron microscope so with the help of electron microscope uh, we can study the subcellular structure so there are two type of the electron microscope uh, you will be able to see this is a, a, this is a electron microscope third one is the uh, first figure is the simple uh, compound light microscope that is usually found in the india's uh, school or most lab of the india school and this is the binocular microscope with battery backup second one is third one is the electron microscope so these are the uh, very uh, this electron microscope uh, is a uh, is a microscope which is used to study subcellular structure so it is of two type one is the scanning electron microscope that is popularly known as scm sam so it is usually used to the surface image or if we want to study the surface view of any specimen so we focus beam of electrons on to the on to the surface of the specimen and with uh, the bombardment of the beam of electrons uh, we will be able to uh, uh, see the surface view of the Uh, that is specimen so it is a one of the research microscope and another one is the transmission electron microscope so uh, in uh, when we 
and do the experiment with the transmission electron microscope. So we usually focus beam of electron through a specimen. So uh, both the microscope usually uh, we are uh, usually used in the research purpose. So, बच्चों जब आप लोग ट्वेल्थ पास करने के बाद ग्रेजुएशन और पोस्ट ग्रेजुएशन में भारत के अलग-अलग इंस्टिट्यूट में जाएंगे तब आप ये माइक्रोस्कोप पर काम करने को मिलेगा इलेक्ट्रॉन माइक्रोस्कोप का लखनऊ में हमारे यहाँ सीएसआईआर की प्रयोगशाला है या डीएसटी की बीरवर साइन इंस्टिट्यूट ऑफ पेलियो साइंस है यहाँ पर ये प्रयोग इलेक्ट्रॉन माइक्रोस्कोप रखे गए हैं लेकिन स्कूलों में नहीं है जो सेकेंडरी और सीनियर सेकेंडरी स्कूल है वहां पर इलेक्ट्रॉन माइक्रोस्कोप की फैसिलिटी नहीं है क्योंकि ये बहुत महंगा इंस्ट्रूमेंट होता है और यूजली क्लास ट्वेल्व के बच्चों के लिए इसमें कोई विशेष इसमें ऐसा कुछ एक्सपेरिमेंट करने के लिए नहीं होता सो ट्रांसमिशन इलेक्ट्रॉन माइक्रोस्कोप यूज मेनली टू स्टडी इंटरनल स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ दिस सेल सो नाउ लेट अस डू ए एक्टिविटी टू प्रिपेयर ए टेम्परेरी माउंट ऑफ दी ओनियन पेन सो दैट वी विल बी एबल टू सी दैट हाउ द सेल्स लुक्स सो फॉर डूइंग दिस एक्टिविटी यू शुड have the glycerin saponin solution dropper forcep distilled water needle in gross cover slip compound microscope blotting paper onion glass slide and wash glass so when uh, your school will be open on monday so please request your teacher for uh, for uh, performing this activity so uh, for doing this activity Uh, you should take a small piece of an onion bulb with the help of a pair of the forceps you can peel off the skin that is known as epidermis so you should remove the epidermis from the concave side from the concave side or that is the concave layer of the onion uh, please take the thin layer of the epidermis and this layer can be put immediately in a wash glass containing water why because this will prevent the peel from getting folded or getting dry so what do you do with this peel now take a glass slide put a drop of water on it and transfer a small piece of peel from the wash glass to the slide so make sure that the peel is perfectly flat on the slide a thin camel hair paint brush might be necessary to help the transfer and when uh, you are going to put a drop of saponin solution on the piece followed by a cover slip please take care so that the bubbles will not be uh, so so uh, when you will observe this peel under the compound microscope so you will be able to see uh, there is a definite pattern of the cell in the onion bulb so these are known as cells and each cell has a boundary that is known as cell wall and each cell has a prominent nucleus as well as there is a large vacuole so uh, since this is a plant cell onion is a plant cell so it has a large vacuole so you will uh, you will uh, be able to understand uh, about the basic of the cell so such type of the cells uh, make group of the cells together we make the tissue and various tissue together we make the organ and various organ together we make the system so this is the basic unit uh, which is helpful in organizing of any of any organism so uh, you will be amazed to know that organism is so variety in cell number ye uh, badi baat hai Uh, there are lot of cells are found uh, some organism have single cell some organism have millions of these cells so how do scientists observe and study the living cell so i have also told you that they use the microscope which uh, help the object that is the cell so uh, and they also use the stain that is known as saponin stain so uh, for so that they will be able to distinguish by the help of the color so there are millions of the living organism they are of uh, different shape and size and uh, they, uh, their organs also vary in shape size and number of the cells so let us study about some of them so um, number of the cell as uh, um, concerned 
Can you guess the number of the cell in a tall tree, like uh, banana tree, or like eucalyptus tree, or like sequoia tree, Erwin ji? So there are huge uh, animals like the elephant. How big it is? Right, right. The number runs from billions and trillions. Human body has trillions of the cell, which vary in shape and size. A friend group of the cell. Perform a variety of these. So, uh, uh, so Sir, let me remind you some time limits. We have only we have got only five minutes left now. Yes. yes. Okay. Okay. So, organelles are made of the more than one cell are called multicellular. And organelles which are made up of the single cell that are known as unicellular. So, uh, we can say. That uh, there are the example uh, that is known as amoeba and paramecia. So these uh, both organisms are of the unicellular organism. They are made up of the uh, single cell. So if we want to uh, know about the what is the difference between unicellular and multicellular, so unicellular uni means one, cellular means cell, multicellular means many cell organisms. So unicellular made up of single cell, multicellular organism made up of many cell. And in the unicellular organism, single cell are able to perform all the life process, like obtaining food, respiration, excretion, growth, and reproduction. But cells that are the multicellular have a similar basic structure and similar basic life activity. And unicellular organism cannot be divided into the cell. So different shapes and aggregate to form different tissue, and tissue form the organ, and organ give rise to the organ system. That are that perform a special function like plant, animal, fungi, or all the advanced organisms, or all the advanced animals and plants have the uh, multicellular structure. So, so we can say the single cell structure that is known as uh, that is uh, we, we have seen that is amoeba and paramecia. Uh, as the shape and size of the cell is concerned, Dharmendi, we see. So this is the auspicious head. ये दुनिया की सबसे बड़ी कोशिका है। It is the single cell. It is made up of only one cell. और आपको बच्चों देख पा रहे होंगे कि ऑस्ट्रिच एग और चिकन एग में कितना अंतर है। मुर्गी के अंडे और ऑस्ट्रिच के अंडे। So shape and size of the cell vary, but all of these are ultimately determined by the specific function. So some cell can change their shape. Like there is the WBC, that is the white blood cell that are found in my blood and your blood. So this can uh, this can have the ability to change their shape. They can develop the pseudopodia like amoeba. So WBC uh, is the cell which can change their shape. But uh, most of the cell have fixed shape. In the nature, there are the smallest cell. So that is the blue PPLO. That is known as mycoplasma. So mycoplasma is the example of the smallest cell. Uh, there is the largest cell. So ostrich egg. It's the largest cell. Dunia ji sabse badi koshka koshka chahti hoti. Humare sarir mein sabse lambi koshka paai jati jase hum kehati nerve cell. So students, you will be able to see different shape of the cell. Some cells are rounded, some are the oval, some are the elongated, some have the irregular pattern. So various cells humare body mein paai jati hai. These cells hume aur aapko kaam kaayne mein madat kaayti hai. Aur iski bajay se अलग अलग सेल मिलके अलग अलग ऑर्गन्स को एक प्रकार से हमारी बनाती हैं और उन टिश्यू की मदद से और उन ऑर्गन्स की मदद से और सिस्टम की मदद से हम कई सारे अलग अलग काम कर पाते हैं कुल मिला के बच्चों आज आपने जाना कि जो सेल्स होती हैं दीज आर द स्ट्रक्चरल स्ट्रक्चरल यूनिट ऑफ द लिविंग ऑर्गन दीज आर द यूनिट ऑफ द लिविंग ऑर्गन एंड ये हमारी आपकी बॉडी की सबसे छोटी स्ट्रक्चर होती हैं और कई सारी सेल मिलके फिर हमारे टिश्यू और ऑर्गन और सिस्टम को बनाती हैं और जिसकी वजह से हम बहुत सारी लिविंग प्रोसेस को करते हैं धर्मेंद्र जी अभी समय बचा हो तो मैं थोड़ा और बताऊं 
जी हमारे पास समय बिल्कुल भी नहीं है सुशील जी जितना भी आपने हमारे बच्चों को ये जानकारी दी मैं समझता हूँ अपने आप में बहुत ही कमाल की है जिन्होंने भी इस सेशन को मिस किया है वो एन ऑफिशियल पर जाकर इस लिंक से दोबारा जुड़ सकते हैं इस सेशन को दोबारा देख सकते हैं और अपनी जानकारी को पुख्ता कर सकते हैं सुशील जी इतने महत्वपूर्ण समय में आपने समय निकाला उसके लिए आपका बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया जबकि आज छुट्टी का दिन था और आपने हमारे छात्रों के लिए अपनी छुट्टी बलिदान कर दी मैं समझता हूँ बड़ी बात है और फिर से हम इसके आगे टाइप ऑफ दी सेल और फिर सेल ऑर्गेनल पर चर्चा करेंगे तब तक अपने स्वास्थ्य का ध्यान रखें और साफ सफाई की अच्छी आदतों को अपनाते रहें और खुश रहें मुस्कुराते रहें चलिए सुशील जी आपने मेरा काम आसान कर दिया और मैं इसमें एक लाइन और जुड़ता हूँ कि अगला जो सेशन है वो है वेबिनार आप कहीं मत जाइए अगला सेशन वेबिनार बस एक छोटे से ब्रेक के बाद आप देखते रहिए प्रधानमंत्री विद्या चैनल्स फिलहाल मुझे दीजिए इजाजत नमस्कार